Okay, welcome back. Uh, this next video, we're going to continue. This is, I guess, part three of our um, <clears throat> of our series here on adding uh, different GUI elements. So the next one, so far we've done checkboxes, where we've set up some little checkboxes. We've uh, got uh, a choice box here, and some buttons and some labels. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is, you can see the, uh, this is really tight to the border here, right? So we're going to add a little bit of spacing in there. Uh, and then we're also going to add in something called a combo box, which is kind of similar to a choice box, but has a few different little parameters to it. So uh, once again, um, our plan here is we're going to be updating the view in Scene Builder, and then we'll save it, and we'll go into uh, NetBeans, and we're going to update our controller. Oops, uh, we're going to update our controller uh, to uh, to control and update uh, our view for us. So let's go into Scene Builder here. So the first thing I said is, this seems a little tight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the horizontal box. So here I'm in the hierarchy on the left. I've selected the horizontal box. This is the whole box. And under layout, I can actually add in, um, <clears throat> I can add in some padding on the different sides. So I could put kind of like 10 pixels around everything. And then it just sort of looks a little cleaner. And then what we're going to do is, it's going to be very similar to the choice box. So I'm going to bring in again another vertical box. And I'll drop it in there. And these ones were 200 by 300. So let's do the same thing with this. We get 200 by 300. And then, just like the other ones, I'm going to add in a label. So the label, uh, all right, we'll go to properties. And here I'm going to call this the combo box object and we'll update our fonts and then let's drag in a combo box and then we'll drag in a label so we can see what it does now here you see, again um, our, our V box doesn't have the spacing set up yet so I'm gonna click on my V box I'm going to go down to Layout, and in here, on Spacing, I'm going to say 10, so that they have nice little spaces. And then I can hit Save. That's going to update our XML document. And I'm going to go back here into our controller. So again, big picture, we just updated our view. Now we're going to go into our controller. We're going to add labels for the elements that we just added, so we can access them. And then we're going to put in a method uh, to, uh, you know, when the, when this combo box changes, we want to update, uh, our label. So, uh, we'll say here, first we'll add in some instance variables to control things. have to pull in our imports. Again, make sure you get the JavaFX ones. There we go. And <clears throat> if you remember, um, we talked about this in the last video, we have this, this method called initialize. And it gets called automatically when our GUI launches. And it sets the initial state of it. So let's say these items are for configuring the combo box. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say combo box. It's a lot like the choice box. I'm going to say get items. And this returns a list. It's empty because there's nothing in our combo box yet, but it, you still it's the list that you start with uh, to add things into. So in here, let's say add. Oops. And I'm going to do, uh, let's put in course codes. So I'll say content 30. If you don't want to write these out, you can always do the at all. And here you can say
Yeah, yeah, there's four courses. That should do it. And <clears throat> hit save. And then what we have to do is we have to have a method that will allow us to configure that combo box when it's changed. So all we have to do is uh, this will update uh, the combo box label when the combo box oh my So I'm going to call this method combo box was updated. And what I'm going to do is I'll do combo combo box. Ah, what did I call it? This dot combo box label. Set the text. Okay, so we're going to set the text. We want it to come from uh, the combo box. So I'm going to say course selected. We'll do a new line. And we'll say plus. Just like the last one, we'll get the value, and then we'll convert it into a string, and that's it. Okay. So <clears throat> whenever the combo box is updated, we want the uh, label to change. So let's go back into Scene Builder and add in some of our code items. So we we'll go down to Code, in the lower right. So for our combo box, we need to we need to identify it. For the label, we need to identify it. And we also need to, uh, this combo box, when there's an action, when there's a change, I want to say the combo box was updated. Okay, so it'll call that method that we just wrote. And we hit save. Go back into Nepians here. I'm going to hit run. If all goes well, this should work well. Okay, so here's all of our courses. If I select one of them, it says course selected was comp 1008. If I update it, of course, selected was management 2003. It didn't impact any other parts of our GUI, so we're all good. All right, well, there you have it. Another, uh, another quick uh, little nugget for you in the GUI world. Take care.